Yo, what is good, y'all? You did what I'm saying, and welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger for y'all. Now, as you guys see in the title and in the thumbnail, you dig what I'm saying? We got a very interesting video going for y'all today, but before we get into the, that video, you know what I'm saying, I got two things I need to talk to y'all about. Number one, um, I know you guys can tell I got a brand new camera, you dig what I'm saying, so that's why the video has been more crisp and more clear and stuff like that. However... <laughs> When I got this new camera, I decided I'm gonna stop shooting all my videos in auto and I'm gonna do everything myself. So as far as how exposed the video is, stuff to you know focusing and stuff like that, I've been doing everything by myself. So with that being said, I'm um, trying out some new settings. So if you guys see the camera going in and out or getting a little blurry or getting too bright or whatever it is, just bear with me. Um, you know what I'm saying? It's a work in progress and I'm getting it done. Um, and then number two, you know what I'm saying? Uh, a lot of you guys have been wondering ever since I dropped yesterday's video. If you guys haven't seen it already, make sure you guys look at that um, If my tuner hit me back, they did. However, the the day that they're trying to set up for me to drop off the car, it would literally take me out of work and school for two days, um, and I just can't do that. It's my only car. I gotta go to work so I can pay the bills. I gotta go to school so I can graduate. You know what I'm saying? I can't I can't deviate from it. So. Right now, what we're gonna be doing is putting transmission fluid in the transmission to see if it makes it any better. Um, if you guys haven't already seen the video of me checking the transmission fluid, I actually did it wrong, you know what I'm saying? I don't wanna talk about it too much, so we're not gonna go into it. But with all that being said, man, let's go ahead and get straight into this video. Let's roll that intro. Alright y'all, so as y'all see, dig what I'm saying, got Mamba in the shop again, looking immaculate as hell, look at those wheels, look so good, but finna go ahead and get it up on the lift, and then we'll get to filling this stuff out, man, see how it goes. Alright y'all, dig what I'm saying, so as you guys can see, we got Mamba up in the air, uh, let me go to my toolbox real quick, grab this right here, transmission fluid, See if I can get it to focus for y'all. Got the tranny fluid, and then also a pump to put the transmission fluid in my book. We come over here. So right here, y'all, thank you to Money again for uh, telling me, because I didn't know. You pull this little, how the hell did you pull this shit out this way? You just lift it up, bro. It's like a little, it's like a little pull up. All right, y'all, so like I was saying, huge shout out to my boy Money. He told me about the feel. Let me make it brighter for y'all so y'all can see. He told me about the drain and fill plug that's located right up here on the passenger side of the transmission. So with that being said, all you need to do is pop this top off. All right, y'all, so got it off you dig what i'm saying now what is supposed to happen if your transmission is full you should be seeing transmission fluid running down the transmissions the transmissions uh transmission fluid pan but as you guys can see we do not see any dripping whatsoever so what i'm gonna do now is you can also stick your finger um in inside of the pan from the drain and fill and see if you can feel any fluid. So, I'm gonna stick my finger in there. Yeah, bro, she's definitely dry. That's not good. So we're gonna go ahead and put a cord in there now and see if it fills it up. All right, y'all, so for this part of the video, you really need two people, one to film and one to, you know, do the actual job. But it's just me, myself, and I right now. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna set you guys down on this lift right here um, and then once once I get you guys all set up and stuff like that I'll go ahead and start filling the transmission up so give me one second y'all
So quick update, I just put that full quart of oil, shout out to my boy John for helping me out. Just poured that full quart of oil into the training. All right, y'all, you dig what I'm saying? So it's a completely new day. Got Mamba right there behind me. Y'all hear the birds chirping in the back. But anyway, added the quart of transmission fluid as you guys saw and the outcome was not what, well, kind of what I expected, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Because the thing about transmission fluid is it never, like if it doesn't leak, it doesn't burn, like it don't disappear. It'll last in the car forever, it'll just sit there, you feel me? So, I'm saying I would need transmission fluid and I went to Chevy and got the brand new transmission from Chevy, you know what I'm saying, themselves when I first got the car, if you guys remember that. Um, how, how would it be, you know, burning the oil? So, I don't know. I put the oil in there. I mean, not the oil, but the transmission fluid in there. And same same result, man. You know? So, I'm kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. Because, like I say, they did tell me to bring the car back. And they'll go ahead and try to fix what's going on. I got to leave it for 24 hours. That's the, only, that's the main issue. Um, so, I told them I'll let them know uh, what I can do or whatever. Because they want me to do it on Monday. So, I told them... Let me work some things out and I'll see what I'm gonna do. However, my boy Super Sport Creed and his tuner are coming out from New Orleans today, actually. They say, they say. Now, they told me it was coming out like two weeks ago and then something happened. I don't know on they end and they ain't come. So, and then there was a wet, uh, storm coming through, so Creed ain't wanna drive his car. Understandable, just put the Pro Charger on the car. I get it. Don't want nothing to mess up. Completely understand. Um, but, they say they're coming out today, so I might get bro to go ahead and look at Mamba, hook up his computer to the transmission, read the trip, the tune, see, you know, data log it basically, see what it's doing and see if he can't fix it. If he can't fix it, then bet, I'm going to have him fix it. But if he can't fix it, then I already talked to J-Rod and J-Rod said it's cool. I can link up with him on Sunday, Sunday night, drop the car off with him and then he'll take it up to Matt and them. Make sure they do everything right and then I can just pick it up from Matt or pick it up from J-Rod. But with all that being said, Mamba's going to get fixed. It's It's been a sticky process, man. Just trying to pull it out, though. You know what I'm saying? Got to stay positive and just keep pushing. You feel me? So with all that being said, man, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Make sure you turn on post notifications. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. And check out these two videos I got right here for y'all, man. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. God damn, that joint so gosh darn sexy. Look at that. Look. Sheesh, 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 sheesh. All right, John, I'm gone. <laughs>